It's September 2025 and Microsoft are making one of the biggest controversial changes in its history to Word and every user needs to know and understand about this change otherwise you could end up losing lots of work and if you're a business you could end up losing loads of files that you really can't afford to lose. Stick around I'm going to talk about all the details shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, it's September 2025 and Microsoft are, are about to make one of the biggest changes they've made to Word in its history. And this is they are going to force you to save new documents that you create in Word on the cloud. Now you might be thinking, well, that's not a bad thing. It means I can get to my files wherever I am. It also means that I've got a backup copy of my files. Well, yes, those are the advantages to it. The disadvantage to it is that if you do ever get locked out of your Microsoft account, then you could end up losing all that work. And I'm seeing posts like this on many different websites saying that people have lost years and years of emails. They've lost years and years of work simply because they've lost access to their account. And Microsoft are just not doing anything to help them recover that information. They're being told to fill out forms. They fill out the forms and then Microsoft just simply don't respond. So I'm going to show you in this video today how you can stop Microsoft from saving new documents into the cloud. So let's just have a look at the statement from uh, Microsoft themselves. Uh, this is from a project project manager on the Office Shared Services and Experience team. So they say that we're modernizing the way files are created and stored in Word for Windows. Now you don't have to worry about saving your documents. Anything new you you create will be saved automatically to OneDrive or your preferred cloud destination. So it does mean you can save to other clouds if you want. But again, I've had problems with Dropbox. Again, same sort of thing. A customer of mine contravened their terms and conditions. We asked them what terms and conditions they contravened. They wouldn't answer us. They couldn't tell us. They told us that if we needed access back to our files again, then we'd need to supply them with a court order to find out what terms and conditions we'd uh, contravened, which was absolutely ludicrous. As luck would have it, because I'd set up this guy's computer, I'd actually set up a separate backup system to back up not only his local files on his computer, but also his cloud files, so we could manage to retrieve them. But had we had not done that, we could have lost years and years of work. So carrying on, with Microsoft's statement. From the very start, new Word files will have all the cloud advantages, increased security and compliance. Files saved in the clouds are automatically protected by your company's security rules and labeling, so you don't have to take extra steps to keep them safe and compliant. Unless you get locked out of your account, then you're stuffed. Never lose your progress. You don't have to worry about losing your work. Creation in the cloud means your document is automatically saved for you as you go. Flexible control and storage, you're in charge of your files. You can choose what they are named, decide where they are saved and organize them your way. Store them in OneDrive, SharePoint or other locations to keep everything just where you want it. Access from anywhere. Files you create in Word for Windows are instantly available on your Android or iOS device or in a web browser. When you make changes on one device, they sync everywhere. Easy collaboration. It's easy to work with others. Just share your cloud file and start collaborating right away. Add comments and make changes together. Auto save keeps your work updated in real time. Copilot and agent support. From the moment you create a file, you can use Copilot and agent features right away. This lets you get AI powered help whenever you need it or create or update your documents. Note Copilot chat and Microsoft 365 Copilot license is required. So it says how, how it works. Create a new document in Word on your Windows device and notice the auto save is already toggled on. The new document will be named with a date instead of the traditional document name. Select Save Control S to change the file name or location. Once selected, click Confirm. If you close the document before saving, a dialogue will appear asking you whether you want to discard or keep. 
If you're closing an empty document, it will be discarded without confirmation. So anyway, how do we turn off this feature? All we do is we click on file up there in the top left hand corner of Word, then go down to options just at the bottom left hand corner, click on that, and then we click on save just over there on the left. And you will notice at the top of save documents, you have this option here, auto save files stored in the cloud by default in Word. And it says when you move your mouse over it, when auto save is on, OneDrive and SharePoint online files are automatically saved and you can see changes from others in real time. Restart Word for this change to take effect. So if you don't want your files being stored in the cloud by default, then I would say untick this box just by clicking on the tick on the left hand side and there you go, that unticks it. Now, if you do want to save your, com your files on your computer by default, then I would also say, make sure this box is ticked here, just to the left of save to computer by default. And you can click on that and that will save the files to the default location shown in this box here. Now, if you wanna change that, you can click browse and you can select another location if you want, but it kind of makes sense to save documents in the documents folder. And then I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna click on OK just down there. And then I'm gonna come out of Word. Let's just click on the cross in the top right-hand corner of the screen and then go back into Word again. And I just wanna to check to make sure those settings have held. Once I'm in Word, let's go back into Options and let's go back into Save. And yes, auto save files stored in the cloud by Word, in, by default in Word is unticked and save to computer by default is ticked. So that's fine. I'll just click on OK and there we go. It means now that none of our files will be saved in the cloud by default and they'll all be saved on the computer. But please, please, please make sure whatever option you choose, you do have a regular good option backup of those files because obviously the cloud can go wrong. You can get locked out of the cloud, like I said earlier, but also your computer can go wrong. And these modern day solid state drives, when they fail, there's no way of recovering information from them. And if you do have a, an old mechanical slower hard drive, you can often recover data from them, but it will cost you or could cost you many thousands of pounds or dollars to recover that information. It's far, far cheaper to have a regular backup. Just take five minutes every so often to back up your files. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you.